Good Wednesday morning from the Johnson Space Center in Houston. This is Mission Control. You're looking at the International Space Station Flight Control Room from the back of the room looking forward across the consoles, each staffed by a flight controller watching over all of the systems aboard the International Space Station. Looking forward at the uh, forward graphic showing the uh, location of the International Space Station, the flight controllers uh, watching over station systems as the orbiting complex uh, tracks toward the uh, equator and the African continent about midway through a daylight pass around the Earth from this uh, vantage point of uh, 238 statute miles above the Earth. The uh, station's in excellent shape as the team of flight controllers, which has been on console since early this morning, uh, watching over all of those systems. The team once again today is uh, being led by veteran flight director Matt Abbott. He is joined uh, at the flight director console by Shannon Lucid, the veteran astronaut who uh, is serving as the communications link between this flight control team and the crew aboard the International Space Station. Uh, that crew of Expedition 29, a three-member crew, astronaut uh, Mike Fossum serving as the commander of Expedition 29 is joined on uh, the uh, Left in this photo, Sergei Volkov is flight engineer number four, who is the Soyuz TMA 02M commander, and uh, Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency astronaut uh, Satoshi Furukawa, flight engineer number five on the uh, right in this view. Uh, the uh, three crew members have been aboard the station 132 days now and 134 days in space since their launch to the International Space Station back on June 7th of this year. Uh, they plan to return home on the evening of uh, November 21st. Their uh, day uh, began about 1 a.m. Central Time, and they'll end their day with uh, uh, going to sleep about 4.30 in the afternoon. That's a typical uh, routine day for crew members aboard the International Space Station. Uh, today, uh, their focus is on uh, experiment work, some life sciences, uh, human research uh, uh, activities on board for the crew members, and also some uh, routine periodic maintenance activities. Uh, they have continued with their work to uh, stow unneeded equipment inside a uh, Progress supply vehicle, the uh, Progress 42 vehicle you see docked to the pier's docking compartment at the far end of the Russian segment of the station uh, is scheduled for departure from the complex this coming Saturday with uh, undocking uh, scheduled just after 4 in the morning central time. Their Soyuz spacecraft you see in the foreground atop the Rosviet uh, mini research laboratory of the Russian segment of the station uh, is their trip, uh, their ride home on uh, November 21st. An identical uh, Soyuz is uh, targeted to bring three new crew members to the station to join them a little bit uh, uh, earlier than their departure to give them some time for a, uh, uh, a handover period. And um, then they will depart and leave the station in the hands of the oncoming crew members who will then serve as Expedition 30. Mike Fossum, the commander of the uh, uh, crew, has uh, spent a good deal of his day uh, conducting some routine maintenance with the spacesuits on board the International Space Station. Uh, a number of uh, maintenance activities occur periodically, including battery uh, recharging and also purging of some of the coolant loops to uh, m ensure that they have a clean flow in the, in the case of uh, a need for a spacewalk uh, aboard the complex. So a busy day for all uh, three crew members as they uh, head off in different directions throughout the day uh, supporting the um, Expedition 29 voyage aboard the International Space Station.